Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 talk, where I'll be discussing the redesigned schedule board in Dynamics 365 field service. Now, as part of the 2020 release wave one, you can now preview this redesigned schedule board in Dynamics 365 for field service. But before we dive in, let me just go ahead and introduce myself to all of you. My name is Dion Taylor. I am a Microsoft Business Applications MVP. Feel free to check out my blog at D365Goddess, follow me on Twitter, or connect with me on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code. All right, let's get busy. Now, the first thing that we need to do, obviously, is to actually enable this new schedule board that's currently in preview. So you need to go ahead and actually navigate to the resource scheduling app, right? You can see I'm already there. So resource scheduling, here we go. And once you're logged in there, you can just click here on settings. And then you see administration. And then here is an area that's new, right? The modify schedule board settings. Now, if I click on that, that actually opens up the schedule board settings entity, as you can see. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on controls and what you can do here is actually add this control if it's not there yet. So you just go ahead, ahead and click add control. Then you're going to find a schedule board experimental, right? Cause it's a preview. It's not ready yet. And then you click here on this little configure property icon and you got to make sure that that's actually set to enable preview. All right. Once that's done, you just want to go ahead and save that. And then you want to make sure that you actually publish that as well. All right. Now let me just explain a little bit about the schedule board. A couple of months ago, uh, partners and customers actually had the ability to sign up for a private preview of this new and improved schedule board. But obviously now the public has the preview has gone public. So again, keep in mind, right? This is a preview. It's not ready for production yet because it's going to have limited capabilities. Now, what I really wanted to mention is that the new schedule board is a power apps component framework control that you just saw me enable on here. Um, but it's going to make it a lot more flexible and it's also going to be easier to support the schedule board. So that's probably why Microsoft kind of did a whole uh, redesign of that schedule board. All right. So you guys saw that I enabled it. Now let's take a look. I'm going to go to resource scheduling and then I'm going to click on schedule board. And you'll see now in the top corner here that I now have a preview button that is currently set to off. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that to on. This is what the schedule board looks like. So you can see that I've already pre-scheduled some work orders on here. Now let's take a look. So again, this is a preview, right? So currently we only have the hourly view available here. Uh, you do also have the filters like we're used to, right? So you can just set your filters, you can reset them, you can save them as the default filters, et cetera. And then of course, we also know that we can select a particular date from here as well. The other things that you have here on the right hand side is some scheduler settings. Currently, we can only set the date here. That's the only thing that's currently available here. And then we also have the ability to get this, to, to view this legend, to kind of get that to pop out. And if I scroll down here, you'll also see that we now also have the priorities on that legend as well. So it really kind of cleans that up, right? Because that used to be here on the bottom. So I really like what they did here. Then we have, of course, the resources here on the side, like we're used to. Uh, I currently don't see that button where I can like move them to the top. But again, this is just in preview, right? So I'm guessing that's why. If I right click on here, nothing happens currently. So those resource cards that we could pull up in the previous, in the other schedule board are currently not there. You can see that it's just getting me this, this uh, regular browser back uh, information right back reload like so it has nothing to do with the schedule board itself now I kind of like that this is a little transparent which kind of allows me to very quickly see these lines right and it's easier to kind of get to the times on here as well 
Then the travel times, you can see that here, right? It's the thinner line. It used to be a little bit thicker line, so it's very easy to see that as well, who's, who's traveling and, and what the travel times are. Now, if I want to move this up or down a little bit, you can see that I can still do that here in the new schedule board uh, as well, which is kind of nice. And then, of course, if I need to drag and drop stuff right somewhere else, I can do that as well. And then we have, we've already saw this also on the previous schedule board, right? You can see those little icons here, which really represent those priorities. Now, if I click on, let me just go ahead and, yeah, let's just drag one of these on there. This is one that's three hours. Um, there's no button currently for the scheduling assistant, but my guess is that's just, that's going to be there. Uh, later on. So we can currently use this to kind of do some scheduling, dragging and dropping, right? So if I go ahead and do that, you can see here that the time promise is also working here in the new schedule board, right? It's telling me it's outside of that window, which I really like. And then you can see that if I'm trying to drop it somewhere, you get that little, right? The, that little box there kind of showing me what it's going to look like if I drop it there. Now, when I do schedule it, 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 it took a little bit. So I'm going to schedule it right over here. And when I let it go, now it kind of looks like nothing happened. So the first time I did that, that this, I was kind of like, wait, what happened? But you can see here that now it actually shows up. So I'm guessing that's going to be happening quicker. I hope it's going to happen quicker because otherwise you're, you're sitting there a couple of seconds where you're not sure what's going on there with that booking. Now, the other thing that I noticed when I was scheduling it manually like this is that the auto update booking travel feature, uh, which actually became available in version 6.8.6, uh, um, it's not working here on the new schedule board. So the travel time is currently not calculated when I'm dragging my work order on that schedule board. So that's another thing that still needs to be added, right? So. So that was it, a quick overview of the schedule board. I would definitely enable this so you can kind of play around with this a little bit. Um, again, this is only visible here in resource scheduling. So people that are using the schedule board in field servers are going to still use the old one. And you can also toggle this on and off, right? So if you want to just go and watch or review the, the regular one, you can just go ahead and, and turn that preview on directly from within. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe and be sure to check back again in one week for yet another video. Stay safe and wash your hands.